Hello everyone, welcome back, Kevin with Survivalist Sports. Well guys, here we are, guys and gals, don't want to forget the women. Here we are, we are canning some jalapeno peppers. Somebody answer me a question. If we're using jars, why do they call it canning? I don't know. So anyway, fresh jalapenos out of the garden. And some of y'all may say, well Kevin, how do we know those came out of your garden? Well, because I've been keeping y'all updated on my garden for... The first part of 2018. 2018 was dedicated is going to be dedicated to food production, canning, preservation, stuff like that. And here we are. So y'all have seen these growing for two months now. All I'm doing is getting these hot. They're in a let's see if that's that it is. Okay. All we're doing is getting these hot for right now. This is a pressure cooker, not a pressure canner. The recipe calls for a hot water bath. That's all we're doing. Got the vinegar and water solution. And we've got the lids. I need to turn them lids down a little bit. They're not supposed to boil. All they want to do is just sterilize them, get them a little warm. Something that I was unsure of whenever I started was that the home style pickled jalapenos recipe, and this is out of the ball book. This is the ball canning preservation. One of my dogs use it as a chew toy. Called for two and a half cups of vinegar, 5% acidity. That's what I'm using. And one cup, oh, where's it at? One cup water. So that was two and a half cups to one cup water. But on the website, it called for two cups water and one cup water. I mean, uh, two cups water, six cups vinegar. So that's a three to one. And over here, it was different. This is a um, one. Oh, where's it at? But anyway, anyway, they called for a different amount of vinegar, so I went with the more acidic side on this one. So, a um, one to three ratio. One cup of water, three cups of uh, vinegar. That's what we've going on here. About to start boiling. Got the lid sterilizing. Got the jars heating them up. And the jalapenos. Now, where's the salt at? All right, I need to get the salt. Got the peppers put in there, and I always wear gloves. I like to wear gloves whenever we're handling these jalapeno peppers. I put just a dash of salt in there that you can see in the top. Got my little canning kit. Guys and gals, I have not canned in years, 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 but what I can do is I can read instructions. Got our vinegar solution, hot water bath. Lids are ready to go, should be ready to go. Now it's just a matter of taking the vinegar and water solution we're going to funnel it, scoop it up, and pour it in here. And we've got our little measuring stick here. Gives us our depth. And so whenever we get ready, whenever we get going, we'll use that to measure off and how deep it is. All right. And then I'm going to get that. I don't have anybody to hold. I don't have, there's some filming this on my phone. Don't have a tripod. So I'll get right back with you. Got the jars filled with the vinegar, water solution, dash of salt. Now we are ready. Lids are just a little bit of snug tight. I'm just going to take them. We're going to pick them up. We're going to just drop them in that hot water bath. But I've got to make sure that the water covers them. I had to add a little bit more water to it. Maybe this third jar will get that lid, get that water up over the top of it. This is a pressure cooker. I'm just using it for a hot water bath. We're not going to be uh, just not quite enough water. So what we're going to do is just going to add a little bit more water. And it'll bring the temperature down a little bit. There we go. There we go. I just want that water over the top of it. All right. Now it's just a matter of letting them sit. Bring it up to a rolling bowl, letting them sit, and then we'll turn the heat off. Well, hey, everyone, here we go. Here are the cans of pickled jalapeno peppers, jars of jalapeno peppers. And I'm no canning expert. Just follow the instructions the best you can. Get you a good book, ball book. We're going to be doing some more, guys. We're going to be good doing some more. This is just a hot water bath. We're going to be using the pressure canner to uh, can some okra whenever it starts getting ready out of the garden. Get yourself a nice canning book, something like this. Not this particular one, but something like that and then i've got another one over here canning preserving for dummies talks about food health all kind of good stuff get you get on amazon order you a couple of good canning books read through them get on the fall website and print you out some recipes watch some youtube videos 
and it's going i have not canned anything in years 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 guys so this one here was just kind of a throw together next time i do it i'm gonna be a little bit better pre uh, prepared going to have the cabinet cleared off better uh, have a video uh, camera set up on tripod we're gonna do the whole thing especially whenever we start doing the okra in the next couple of weeks okra should start making pretty soon hopefully next week we'll be able to come in and do some more peppers but that's going to be hot sauce we're gonna throw together some more homemade hot sauce with onions tomato sauce cilantro and fresh jalapenos we're going to take and put that put it into a blender grind it up into a hot sauce put it in here i need to read the book i don't know if that could be a hot water bath or a or if i'm going to have to use an actual pressure canner to do that i've got a big pressure canner that sits up here on top of the sink that we're going to be doing using for that anyway guys and gals that's it for now hope y'all enjoyed the video this is going to be a little learning experience for me and y'all i'm going to share this as a learning experience as i go through it because i haven't done this in years 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 all right guys i'll talk to y'all later